Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial for LightroomFanatic.com. I've got a really easy tutorial for you today. I've got a post coming up that involves a Lightroom plugin that I downloaded and I wanted to just put together a quick tutorial to show you how to actually install plugins into Lightroom. Plugins are great because they provide a lot of functionality and extra features that don't ship uh, with Lightroom itself uh, and there's a lot of really good plugins out there. Uh, so to install a plugin, the first thing you're going to want to do is find one and download it. Uh, and then once you've done that, uh, the next thing is to load it into Lightroom. And to do that, we're going to start by opening up the Plugin Manager under File, Plugin Manager. So this is your Lightroom Plugin Manager, and it, on the left it has all of the plugins that are installed in Lightroom. And you can see the ones with the green circle are ones that are enabled, and the other ones are installed but disabled. Uh, Lightroom itself ships with a bunch of plugins, and uh, I've got a few on the bottom that I've added for things that I want to do. I did a post a while back about this LR blog plugin, which allows me to upload directly from Lightroom to my WordPress blogs, and then there's a few other ones as well. So to add a plugin to Lightroom, you're going to want to click on this Add button, and you'll see uh, Finder in, on the Mac or Windows Explorer open up, and it'll ask you to find the plugin that you want to install. So I happen to have mine already pointed at the right directory, and this is the plugin that uh, I'm writing the, the blog post about. So the plugins uh, will always have a .lr plugin extension at the end, uh, so you know what you're looking for. Uh, I like to put my plugins on Dropbox so that I can uh, load them easily from the different computers that I have Lightroom installed on. So I've got uh, my main computer and my Mac, uh, my uh, MacBook both have Lightroom installed. So if I put the plugin on Dropbox, I don't have to find it again and download it again and unzip it and all that other sort of stuff. I can just go right to the same folder in uh, Dropbox and point to it there. So, uh, so you just simply double click or uh, single click and then click on Add Plugin and you'll see your plugin installed uh, and you should be able to enable or disable it by clicking on the two buttons here and you should be all set. Uh, if you have a problem with a plugin, um, you know, if you have an old plugin that you had installed and then you upgraded to Lightroom 5 and you want to, and you're, you're seeing uh, weird things happening inside of Lightroom, uh, a great thing to do to kind of troubleshoot is to first disable the plugin and see if the behavior uh, inside of Lightroom is any better. And if it is, it may just be an incompatibility thing, in which case you can click the remove button here to remove the plugin that's causing the problem. So I hope that helps. Uh, be sure to check out the, the posts about both uh, installing plugins and the uh, Magic Export plugin that will be coming up uh, soon over at LightroomFanatic.com. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or, as always, come check us out over at LightroomFanatic.com.